Okay, good morning everyone. Hopefully you can all hear me. I've parked myself on top of the router um, in my living room, so there's a bin lorry going around outside at the minute. Hopefully that won't cause too much background. Um, just to check, hopefully you can all hear me and see me. You can also communicate with me using the chat box, so you can uh, type questions in here and you can either click that everyone can see it or that only me. Normally we go with everyone. So. Um, I'm going to type a message in here, so please let me know if you can't hear or see me or have any questions. Okay, grand. And the other thing to check is that you have a microphone, so if you wanted to ask me a question over the microphone, you can. Um, but when you log into the software first or click on the link, it normally mutes your own microphone. So hopefully you can hear me, but if you were to speak now or if your dog starts to bark or whatever, I won't be able to hear it and the other people in the meeting won't either. But it's just something to keep an eye on if you start getting unexpected background noise. It's normally just someone has accidentally unmuted their, um, micro, their mic. The other thing I can do on this is I can show you um, a computer screen. So I'm gonna do that now so you can see what um, I'm going to show you on Moodle, for example. So I'm going to go onto my desktop and I want to share that. I want to open up the equine nursing page. Okay. So the idea is now that you can see my equine nursing page um, as well as see me up in the corner. Again, if you're having any problems with that, just let me know. You can um, send me a chat or you can ask me a question. So we'll try and keep that going as we, as we get along. Okay, I'll move that over there. So I wasn't going to have a formal lecture this morning. I just want to check in with you guys. Hope you're all doing well and managing and you're all safe and well and not too bored or frustrated yet with all the, the weird circumstances we, we find ourselves in. Um, we'll figure it out as we go along. It's just to kind of reconnect to a new experience, I suppose, for all of us. So just in relation to the equine nursing module, um, obviously we're not having face-to-face -face classes now, so we'll have no practicals for the time being, but we are going to continue delivering the content of the module online um, as smoothly as possible. So for example, I've sent you some um, emails just keeping you up to date with what's happening. As I've said, I'll be using face-to-face -face sessions rather than lectures, so I've recorded some already and they are down the bottom of the Moodle page in the section where we had stopped in class. So we had got as far as lameness evaluation. What I've done then is on the section of the Moodle page where the notes are, I've just added in some recorded lectures. So you've got to keep scrolling down to the bottom. It takes a bit longer on my view because I get more um, background text than you guys can see. But once we get down here at section four, the equine athlete, at the bottom of that section, there's a little yellow heading called recorded lectures and online teaching and I've put um, some recorded videos up there. So I've taken the notes I'd normally deliver to you guys in a face-to-face -face lecture, and I've recorded myself talking through them and I've popped them up here, okay? Um, I've also put up a link there to a YouTube video from the British Equine Veterinary Association where they reviewed how to use clicker training to get a horse to let you click it normally or to clip it without objecting. So I've put that in there as well, okay? We were also meant to have a workshop with IMV Imaging. They used to be BCF technology and they provide lots of um, diagnostic imaging equipment to Irish practices, digital x-ray systems and ultrasound systems. So unfortunately we've had to um, cancel that work practical session for the time being, but the staff kindly sent me on their notes from the session. So I've put those onto the Moodle page at the bottom of that section on recorded lectures and online teaching. They're called IMV Imaging Slides on Digital Radiography and Ultrasound. And I've put up, there's a PDF and there's a PowerPoint, but they're both the same material. So I just put them up there in two different formats so you can download whatever one suits you best. So the plan for this was, was kind of give students a break and a chance to catch up with the transition to online teaching. So I've recorded those lectures and put them up there. They're what we would have covered in our um, classes last week. The practical class we were due to have, we're just going to 
put that on hold for the moment. I'll come back to you when we have some update on what's going to happen with practical exams and classes and so on. But for the moment, we're going to focus on getting the, the theory finished. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to just point out to you is if you're having any, let's say you're, go, you're looking at an online lecture and something comes up and that you don't understand or I'm not very clear or you have a query, um, like you would in class where you would just stop and ask me a question, I'd encourage you to ask me a question um, from the online lecture as well. And the simplest way I think to do that is I've put a thread here on the Moodle forum. So you can go up here to the top of the page and in the equine nursing forum, and if you click on that, I've put um, some links up here. And if you have a question for me, you can pop it up onto this Moodle thread. Okay. And that way then, if someone has a query, I can answer it. And then everyone in the whole class will see the answer. So the same as if you ask me a question in class and I answered it for the whole class, this time you can pop a question on the Moodle form and I can then reply to it and everybody will see the answer so that everyone stays on the same page. And it also means that it's a bit more efficient. I'm not having to reply to the same query several times um, via email. Okay. So that's kind of a, um, an overview of where we are and what the plan is for the next few weeks. It's hard to say obviously how long we're going to have to continue this. We'll work it out as we go along. But we just want to touch base with you this morning and see if you're getting on. And if you have any queries or questions, feel free to ask them. So I'm going to suggest if you have any questions now to pop it um, onto the chat box for me, or you can ask me a direct question. I find generally people don't like doing that. Um, they're happier to, to use the chat box. If you're happy enough and everything's fine, you might just pop that in the text box for me as well in the chat box so I know that you are happy and don't have a question as opposed to you can't see me or hear me or understand what I just said or join late or whatever the case might be. So one second then, I'm just going to switch back to the main screen. Okay, and I'm gonna pull the chat box up here. And can I just ask you to let me know if there's any questions that you have or anything you're not sure about, would you type it into the chat box for me? If you're happy enough, you can just type something into the chat box to say it's all fine. And we'll take it from there. Okay, so I've got a few people coming back to me there now. Um, people are saying they're happy enough. Everything is fine so far. Someone is saying it's a bit weird. It absolutely is a bit weird um, for, for everyone, I think. It is going to be something we'll have to figure out as we go along. If you have any problems or questions or things you get stuck on, please get in touch with me. I'm working from home. You get me on my, on my email, on my normal college email, or you can um, send me a message on the Moodle forum, depending on the nature of the message. But yeah, it's, it is strange. And we're going to just have to try and figure it out as we go along, but I'd be happy that we'll, we'll get there. It's just a question of giving each other a hand. And if we get stuck, make sure and let me know and we'll try and work it out or, or find an alternative. But so far, so good. Okay, let me see, anyone else got? Lots of you here this morning, it's great to see. Good morning. Uh, I'm just asking people if you've just joined us, um, I've had a quick run through what I've sent out to you via email during the week and on Moodle. And I'm just asking people to let me know either you're happy enough and things are generally working away so far, despite how weird it all is, or if there's something you're stuck with or having problems with, let me know. So either way, would you just type something into the um, chat box for me so that I can see how you're getting on. And if you have a question, I'll answer it. And if you're happy enough, and you let me know that's great and I know that you're you're finding it fine so far as opposed to not being able to hear me or see me which is which is possible as well okay so I've got one two three four happy enough let's 
going to type a question here. Grant, okay, so everyone who's online at the moment has set, got back to me either on the group chat or privately to say that everything is working okay for them so far. They're happy enough, which is great. Okay. And um, as we go along, you can ask me questions via email anyway, so, so don't be stuck. So that's the plan in relation to lectures and questions for the moment. The other thing then is your equine nursing portfolios. So you've all sent me in a draft at this stage, which is great. Thanks very much. Um, I'm going to, I'm working through those at the minute. What I'll do is I'm recording a screencast of myself talking my way through your portfolio. So I can give you some advice or helpful comments, hopefully, or clarify areas you might want to either include or if something's a bit long and you're getting tight on the word count, you might be able to condense it. So I'm going to keep working away at those um, for the moment. As soon as I have them done and I have um, the screencast recorded, I'll put them up onto YouTube as an unlisted link. What that means is that the video isn't public. You can't go onto my YouTube channel and watch it. But what I will do is I will send you a link to your own video so that only the person with the link can view the video. So I'll send you a link to your YouTube video like I've, like I've done for your pharmacy module in the last semester. So once you get that screencast feedback, you can play the video and you can listen to me and watch me work my way through your assignment. And then you can make a note for yourself of things you might want to change or improve or, or tweak. Uh, I'm happy most people have done a good job in it and they're off on the right track. It's just a question of keep doing what you're doing and give it a final polish to get it ready to submit. So that's obviously not going to be affected by the fact that we're now teaching and learning online. That assessment will, will continue as planned. Um, the other thing I suppose might be a bit problematic for people is you obviously just can't go into the library now and ask for help or ask for advice or look for books and so on. We're going to have to switch to using the library in an online manner. So one thing I wanted to ask you this morning was, would it be helpful if I did some screencasts for you of how to use some of the library online resources? Or is that something that you're comfortable with already? Um, I'm happy to do it if it's any help to you, but if it's if it's going to be a waste of your time, it's it's obviously not not valuable to you. So I just wanted to ask you here this morning, um, online library resources, would you like some screencasts or some advice on how to use them or are you happy enough? So again, if you wouldn't mind, just type something into the text box for me in relation to that. Yes, you'd like resources or no, you're happy enough to, to work away as you are. I'll give you a minute to do that if you wouldn't mind. Okay, a couple of responses coming in now. So first three people have said, yes, please, I would like resources. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I'll see what the other people want and we can I'll have a think about how to do that. Can I ask you, um, second question now to, to type an answer for me, please, is what specific bits of the library do you find hard? So is it referencing that you're struggling with? Is it finding resources? Let me know what is your kind of number one query and I'll start with that in terms of the resources. So I'm going to make some resources because I've had uh, three people say they'd like them so far, which is fine. And then can you just give me a heads up on what resource would be most helpful for me to start with? That'd be great. Okay, so someone is asking me for a guide to finding journals and articles from the multi-search bar. Okay, I'll have a go at that. Yep, that can be a bit tricky. So I will um, certainly start with that. If there's any other specific thing you'd like help with, you could type it into the box for me. That'd be really helpful. I'll give you a few minutes because I can appreciate if you're typing on your phone as well. It's a little bit slower. Um, how to reference or cite books used to include the page numbers. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So if you're putting in a, um, a direct quotation from an article or a book, you need to put the page number in the citation. So yeah, I can show you how to do that. So find an article using multi-search uh, page numbers and referencing and cit citating. Uh, how to reference proceedings. Okay, perfect. I can do that as well. 
I'm just going to take a screenshot of these because once I end the meeting, this chat box disappears. So I'll be able to listen to myself back, but I want to also be able to see the questions. So that's that little click was just the camera on the computer taking a picture of the screen. So I'll have a record of the questions you've asked. Okay. So yes, please to the resources. And I'm going to start with something on referencing and something on help with finding journals and articles using multi-search or using the other library resources. Okay, that's something I can do and um, leave that with me. Okay, the last question I wanted to ask you, so I've asked you how you're getting on. Generally, people are happy enough with the online resources. In relation to your assignment, I've got some feedback there on the things that you'd like me to, to give you a hand with, so that's perfect. Sit tight and wait for your feedback. And then number three, I wanted to ask you just in general, um, not specifically relating to the equine nursing module, but that in relating to college that you're unsure about or concerned about. Now, you, you're probably going to have the same concerns as me in a lot of places. When will we be back and what's going to happen next? And I don't know the answer to that, but there may be some queries I will be able to help you with. So if you have any questions specifically about things other than equine nursing, um, go ahead and ask them now. And you can either send it to the group or you can ask me at one one on one. But if there are any other queries that you have that I might be able to help you with, we'll do that now. So, put my question in here. So, any queries relating to college beyond the equine nursing module? Okay, a few questions come in here, in here now. Um, so will we be doing the labs if we get back to college? So yes, if we get back to college um, at any stage in this semester, we'll be trying to get your practical classes done as quickly as possible. The idea is that while we're off for the next couple of weeks, we're going to deliver all the theoretical content online through things like recorded lectures and get as many assignments as we can done like your equine nursing one. Um, however, there's still going to be some things we haven't got to. So yes, if we get back to college, we will start trying to work through as many of those practical classes and practical assessments that are left so that we can get all the modules finished um, in this semester. So yeah, that's the plan on that one. Okay. Um, are OSCEs and exams still going ahead as scheduled for the moment? Yes. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But the hope for the moment is that, yes, we will still have the exams and OSCEs in May um, as, as planned. If, it, if that becomes impossible, we'll make other alternatives. But for the moment, the plan is to still proceed with those as planned. So for the moment, don't, don't assume you're not going to have exams in May. Please do keep doing a bit of work. Um, we don't know yet exactly what's going to happen, but I would definitely, for the moment, keep, keep doing a bit of study, guys. Um, and it is what was going to happen with placement if we don't get back to college this semester. Um, again, we're hoping that you'll still be able to do your placement over the summer. If there's any changes on that, we'll let you know. It's obviously a bigger picture issue. Um, the other vet nursing colleges are in the same boat. The Veterinary Council of Ireland is going to be involved as well in that decision. It's going to come. And also it's obviously related to practices or workplaces. So there may be government and health, you know, HSE decisions involving access to work placements um, over the summer. At the moment, it's a bit too far away for us to be able to, to say the plan for the moment is that your work placement is proceeding as planned. As soon as we have any updates on that, we let you know. But for the moment, sit tight, don't cancel your placement. It's still scheduled to go ahead. If we have to change that, we'll come back to you. Okay. So that was labs we've addressed, OSCEs and exams, work placement. Yeah, I think they're probably the, the main things I've been asking um, about as well during the week. But for the moment, that's where we are. Okay. Any other queries? I'll give you another couple of minutes. If not, I'll, um, I'll let you go then and you can get back to um, whatever you, your plan for the day is are.
Any other questions um, before we finish up? I'm just going to take another screenshot of that as well so they have those questions on file. Grant, okay. Okay, I'll give you another 30 seconds and if you have a question, pop it into the box. Hi, Kai. Thanks for joining us. Um, Kai, you've just had a, taken a run through what I've done online with you over the week. We've talked people through the um, online lectures and how to ask questions and then talked about a little bit about the assignment. Um, I'm going to send you all feedback as I finish it. And then the other thing we have people are asking about is, you know, beyond the equine nursing module in general. Um, are the exams going ahead as planned? Yes, they currently are. Um, OSCEs and work placement still currently scheduled to take place at the end of the semester as planned. That may obviously change, but for the moment, um, we have no updates as to any changes on them. It's obviously going to be a bigger decision. It'll involve the college and also employers and HSE and the government. So it's for the moment, we're proceeding as we are. Um, another question there, will we get the practice run of OSCEs? Don't know on that one. Um, again, the plan is to have a practice session, but it will depend on us getting back to, if we get back to college to run practicals and outstanding practical assessments, the practice OSCE will be included in those. I think it's a useful thing to do. So yes, the plan will be to have the practice OSCE if we can. At the moment, it's scheduled to take place in revision week. That's still the, still the scheduled running time on it. If there's any changes on that, we'll let you know. Any other questions? Uh, anyone who did join in a bit late, as I say, I'm going to make this recording available to you afterwards. And I've, I've kept a record of the questions people asked during it, so I'll be able to address them as well to make sure we don't um, omit anything. Okay. I think um, I'll wrap it up so for this morning. Um, if you think of any other questions that you forgot to ask me or something pops up that you want clarified <clears throat> as we go along, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'm going to say um, look after each other, be sensible and keep up the good work and we'll go from there. Um, I'll keep in touch with you. We'll, f we'll have more sessions like this if, uh, if and when we find they're, they're needed or they're helpful. And please keep in touch with me via email as well if you have any questions or queries I can help you with. And any questions relating to the module content, as I've said, it'd be very helpful if you could pop that up on the Moodle forum so that everybody can see the responses to it. Okay, thanks very much. Um, best of luck, stay safe and well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for your attention this morning. It's, it's really helpful. It's a good chance, I think, to get a practice run at the technology as well. So appreciate your help with that. Thank you. Thank you.